Hindi po natin mapagkakailanong itong si Casimero ay nasa pangangalaga pa noon ng MP Promotion. Ay talagang alagang alaga pa si Casimero na kung saan ay palagi pong mayroong nakahain na mga laban para sa kanya. Kaya naman ay hindi basta-basta na babakante ang mga gloves nitong ating kababayan na lumalaban lang naman ng dalawa o tatlong beses sa loob ng isang taon sa isang mabibigat na pangalan. Nagiba ang lahat ng ito nang lisanin na po nitong si Casimero ang kanyang promotional company na sinandalan dahil sa hindi ko na maayos ito na pagbibigay ng mga karampatang bayad sa bawat laban na kanyang sinasagawa nung ito ay nasa MP Promotion pa. Itong dahilan ng paglisan ni Casimero sa promotional company na ito pero kaakibat po kasi nito ay hindi na nagkaroon pa ng mabibigat na laban ng ating kababayan at halos isa na po lamang na laban ang kanyang laging ginagawa sa bawat taon na lumilipas. Hindi natin maitatanggi na isa po talaga itong si Casimero sa buksingerong Pinoy ngayon na pinakamalalakas at pinakamahusay sa palakasang ito. Pero dahil nga sa wala na pong sinasagawang laban, ay kaya naman nagkaroon na rin po ng ring rust itong si Casimero. Ito ang kalimitang tinatamasa ng mga buksingerong sobrang tagal magkaroon ng laban. Sa kalagayan ngayon ni Casimero, ay mukha pong malilipasan na po talaga ng kanyang prime itong si Casimero at hindi mapapakinabangan ng gusto ang kanyang kalakasan. Dahil sa ilang taon na lamang, ay unti-unti na pong mararamdaman ni Casimero ang mga pagbabago sa kanyang katawan na kadalas ang pinakamortal na kalaban ng mga buksingero at ito na nga po ay ang kanilang mga edad. Ngayon eh, sa video po kasi nating ito mga idol ay atin pong pag-uusapan ang pinakamaganda na laban noon ni Casimero at ito na nga po ay nung mga kalaban na po nito ang isa sa mga pinakamahusay noon na kampiyon sa Bantamweight Division na dating may hawak ng WBO Bantamweight World Title Belt. At ito na nga po, ay walang iba, kundi si Zulani Tete. Ang laban na ito, ang masasabi po talaga natin na isa sa mga pinakamagandang kondisyon noon ni Casimero. Dahil sa kung hindi naawat ng tagapaghato lang laban, ay sigurado na hospital talaga ang pagtutuluyan nitong si Zulani Tete. Dahil sa malalakas na suntok na binabato nitong ating maangas na kababayan. Kaya naman eh habang wala pa pong napipintong laban itong ating maangas na kababayan ay atin muna pong sabay-sabay ngayon panoorin ang laban nitong si Casimero kontra sa dating WBO Bantamweight World Champion na si Solani Tete. Knockout victories. His last four wins have all come by stoppage. He is a banger and he is most definitely here thinking and believing that he can defeat this brilliant South African. Well, the obvious <laughs> tactic is to get inside that, that beautiful long jab there of Teddy. Which, which is, is achievable, but the problem is that you have that uppercut that, to worry about. When we've seen that, how effective that can be in the past. He takes a little half a step back, Teddy, and then whips that uppercut right through the middle. Teddy had one win, which came in 11 seconds, the quickest ever in a world title fight. Well, it's not... Uh, I suspect that might never be broken. <laughs> Casimero, who'll be known to British fans as the man who stopped Charlie Edwards in September three years ago in an IBF flyweight title defence. He won this interim title in February against Ricardo Espinosa and then defended it in August against Cesar Ramirez. Both those came by way of stoppage. Oh, he's a quality operator. And if you allow him, if you allow him fall, fall with momentum and he gets it on his side, then he's, then he's a really hard man to deter. He really is. So for Tete, it's just keeping him in his place all the time. Pivoting on that front foot, whipping that jab out, not shortening the gap. That's a tremendous athlete, stands five foot nine, and only weighed eight stone four at the weigh-in. Comfortably made the eight six limit. That's that, and that's the crazy part of it. Oh, oh. On occasion, he kind of just does enough. We commentated oh, sorry, on a fight yeah. over in Yekaterinburg last year. It was that fight last October. Yeah. And that was that sort of fight, wasn't it? He won by about a four or five point margin, but he, he never really took any risks at all. No, and, and, you know, he, he can coast the fight, can't he? So he can just, he can stick in second gear, just pick you off and be happy with that. Well, fairly quiet opening round. Bell just coming up as uh, Casimero tries to launch that right hand and just whips it through thin air. Well, as we go into the second round, 
How did you score that one, Barry? I gave it a Teddy. I think just you know, some of those flicking jabs were enough to give him the edge for me. Casemiro didn't really do uh, do enough, if anything, to be fair. Quiet sort of opener, wasn't it? <laughs> Test will come when Casemiro lands one of those big punches, if. Or when he... Oh. Or when he fully commits to an attack, he's jumped into a few attacks, but I don't think he's been fully committed. And if he, when he does that, if he can be effective, or if Teddy can read it, and as we said earlier, whip that uppercut in, in the, in the, on the target. Casemiro promoted by the legendary Manny Pacquiao. Sean Gibbons representing the little master over here. He's the chief executive officer or something of uh, Pacquiao Promotions. <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a significant <laughs> job, you know. He introduced himself to me as that and also as the president, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure which it was. Again, Casemiro got too much experience just to rush in because he knows he'll walk on the shots. But also, with him not doing that, means he's not being remotely effective. And even though Tete's not doing enough, he should be doing a lot more with that, with that right jab, to be fair. Tete just looks huge in comparison to Casemiro. That's an advantage he always has over pretty much every fight that he's faced. Talked about moving up in weights, that might happen at some point. And I guess another option, talked about Inui, but Rigondo, yeah. the Cuban, is fighting... Liborio Solis for the regular WBA title. That's coming up in about three weeks. And he's, Tete's talked about fighting Rigondo, or as he's correctly pronounced with the uh, Spanish accent, Rigondao. And look, two absolute geniuses, but it could also be a stink out of a fight because they oh. might just both be looking at each other. Could be a chess match. Yeah, each other to make the first move, yeah. Which this is a little bit at the moment. Yeah, it is. You know, and again, Casemiro's trying to, trying to attack, but. Oh. Short little right hand there, I thought it was half a head as well. As ever, Tete's entourage came to the ring singing and dancing as the second when he fought over in Yekaterinburg in Russia last uh, October. Well, he, well obviously, oh, that's better there for Casemiro. Doubling up on the jab. Well, I guess he thinks, no, it's... It's your move to close the gap, not mine. I'm the taller fighter with a longer reach. I, I want to keep it long. You gotta make. You gotta try and bring it to me. Bags of experience, though, Casemiro. Got a record of five wins and two defeats in world title fights. Tete five and one. He's won his last 12 since September 2012. Oh, Casimero got him. He's got him with a butt now. He's given it. He's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was on the chin. It was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's, all the place. he's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Ca referee asking, is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now. And finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zolani Tete stopped by John Real Casimero of the Philippines. And the big South African favourite suffers. A defeat which was simply not expected, no way. Well, we're sat here just praising Tete up. And all of a sudden, Casemiro comes in with a short hook, hits, uh, sort of turns the body, hits hit, hits Tete sort of flush on the chin, squared up. And I was hit, he crumbled. It, was, it I, caught him on the on the blind side from where we're sitting. And, you, I mean, you did well to pick that up because it was such a quick, short shot. It was. He, he jumped in the attack there. And, you know, and, and we're saying how good Teddy is. And he waits and he waits for you to make the mistake. He waits for you to engage. But we didn't know. We weren't giving Casemiro enough.